Hello and happy Thanksgiving. It's Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some last minute Thanksgiving decorating ideas. Um, all of these I think cost about $10 or less, hopefully. Um, and I'll put more information about how much like all the things um, cost me to make. Um, all of these things you can make at home with stuff that you have and the stuff that you, oh, well, some of the stuff is stuff that you don't have, but you, it's really easy to go out and get stuff. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, burlap wreath. Put that in there. Um, I did not videotape um, how I made these things, ma mainly because um, there's so many. <laughs> YouTube tutorials and Pinterest um, pins and everything on how to make these burlap wreaths. So, um, for in the interest of time, I didn't videotape how I made it. And also, um, you did not need to see the struggle <laughs> that I went through making this. Um, it, yeah, I think I probably would have been more detriment than help. So, um, but this cost me probably about ten dollars to make. Um, the burlap ribbon was about. Five dollars um, for the roll on sale. Um, the monogram letter was a dollar fifty. Um, the wire wreath um, hanger. What is this? The wire wreath frame. Um, it was about a dollar fifty or two dollars. Also, I can't remember. Um, and then I just bought this accent burlap, this is also burlap, um, accent burlap ribbon. And this was, I think, $5, but I had, it was 50% off at Hobby Lobby, so $2.50. Um, so, yeah, really, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to make. Um, but I couldn't explain how I made it if I tried. But, yeah, it's just really simple, really nice to go in your door. And that's the first one. So the second decoration that you could use for um, Thanksgiving or any holiday um, are these glitter candles. Um, these were really easy to make too. Pretty much, um, I made two of them. Um, pretty much took a candle that I had already. Um, probably cost me like a dollar. Um, you get, like, I know that they have these at the dollar store. Um, take the candle, um, wrap masking tape around it, and then just painted Mod Podge on the bottom half and then sprinkle glitter all over it. And then let it dry for about five minutes, take the tape off, and there you go. It takes probably like five minutes to make and it's really cute. And I'm pretty sure I saw these at Target for like six dollars. So a dollar for the candle and glitter and glue that you already had sitting at home. So that's the second thing. The third is a little bit in line with that. Um, it's these candle holders. There's one. I made four of them, but these are pretty much what they all look like. <laughs> so um, these I already had at home too, but I know I got these from the dollar store, the little candle holders, and pretty much did the same thing as I did with the candles. Um, I just painted Mod Podge around it and then throw some glitter on it and let it dry. So so even if you have to go out and buy all of these materials, you could get this for like a dollar. The little candle packs um, five dollars at the most. Um, and then glitter and glue, which a couple dollars, you know. So you can make these for under ten dollars too. And they're really cute and like glam up like you can make these for your, you don't have to just make it for decoration for like holidays, you could um, make it for your room or just to decorate your apartment or whatever, like these are just really cute and really easy way to glam up any area. So the final decoration that I'm going to show you is a burlap table runner with lace on the sides. I'm going to actually did videotape me doing that, so I'm pretty much just going to run through and tell you um, just the steps that I used to make it. So. Let's start. So what I used was um, a roll. Um, I wanted to use fabric glue. We'll get to that. 
Um, I actually used two rolls of lace, um, decorative lace trim, and then one roll of 12 inch burlap. Um, I think it was about 15 feet. The, um, which you can actually end up using, making two of those if you get extra lace. So the first thing I did was roll it out and I wanted to measure. Um, the table that I have is six feet and so I wanted it to overhang about a foot on each side. So um, all you're going to do is roll it out, measure it to about eight feet, and then um, just make sure that you cut straight. <laughs> measure it out to eight feet and then cut that cut off um, or eight feet is what I used whatever you have um, and so um, because of the way that the burlap is woven um, I didn't want the burlap to kind of come loose so what I end up using is fray block or fray check um, and it just helps to seal those ends so that it doesn't kind of come loose on you and come apart after you cut it because the ends are actually um, like woven and sewn together so once you cut it you run the risk of Doing that. So I just ran that along the edge of the burlap and let it dry for about, I think the bottle says 15 minutes, but I think I let it dry for about 10. And so once that's dry, just roll out your, um, I used about a two, two and a half inch um, lace ribbon. Um, so just roll that out. And I was experimenting on whether or not I wanted to use um, first I was, I really wanted to use the fabric glue because for one I think the fabric glue has a better bond and will last longer, but it is really messy. Um, and it takes a really long time to dry. Um, you're supposed to let it sit for 24 hours before you like even touch it. Um, so yeah, I started out using the, um, fabric glue, which you can see here. Um, just laying it, um, lining it on the sides of the lace, um, making sure that I kind of get an even distribution on there, and then just patting it down. <laughs> um, what I'm not doing here, which you should make sure that you do, is have um, something to protect whatever surface you're working on, which for me I'm working on the floor, so the carpet is what I'm trying to protect, and you can see the little the paper bag that I have down there that should be underneath the burlap. Yep, there I go fixing it. <laughs> Make sure that you have whatever surface you're working on protected. This is where I gave up. <laughs> um, I actually tried this a couple times with the um, fabric glue, but I ended up giving up because it was just too messy and taking way too long. So I was like, you know what? Let's use my good old best friend hot glue. <laughs> so the hot glue is, it's Still a little bit messy, but it's a lot easier to clean up, and it is a ton faster. Um, the bond is still really strong, um, so I don't think you'd have any problems using hot glue. I would probably recommend hot glue if you want to get it done fast. And the goal is last minute <laughs> decorations, so fast is the key. Um, so all I'm doing here is just lining it, um, lining the side of the lace with the hot glue and um, just patting it down, making sure that my floor is protected. <laughs> so, yeah, that part, um, and just going along down all eight feet, unrolling it as I go, so. Um, and I only did it on one side the first time and then kind of flipped it up to get the other half of that lace. Um, you can do it either way. You can put a line of glue down the middle if you kind of want the sides to be a little bit freer but I pretty much just wanted it all to lay down there are a lot of kids in my family and they like to touch things so um, I wanted it to be as stable as possible so that it doesn't come up so um, I just went ahead and lined both sides of the lace with hot glue so yeah, you're going to do that for the whole, um, lining it down. And then, um, you're going to do that along the whole side, and then you're going to switch it. 
over to the other half and do the exact same thing. Just line up your um, lace with hot glue and pat it down. Um, because the lace and the burlap both have like, they're woven and have holes in them, you're going to get a little bit of hot glue on your hands. Um, just make sure that you're protecting yourself and not burning yourself. Be very careful, the hot glue is hot. So um, just make sure that you're not getting any of it on your hands. Let it dry a little bit before you start like really packing it down. But you're just going to do that for the other side too. And when you are done, it is going to look a little something like this. So this is my lace and burlap table runner. Can't really unwrap it, but isn't that cute? So the first time I did it, I did it um, with the lace that you saw in the beginning. It was kind of a thicker lace and it ended up looking like it was made for like a wedding, which I wanted to go for kind of like rustic chic. Um, and that was kind of turning into like rustic formal wedding table attire, which is not what I wanted. So I actually, I actually went back to Hobby Lobby and got this, which is what you see in the video. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. Like it, this cost me not even $10 to make. Um, so the, the lace was $2.50. The, this was $5. So yeah. Um, and I still have... It was a 15 foot roll, so I still have 9 feet. No. <laughs> it was a 15 foot roll, so I still have 7 feet um, left of burlap to use with whatever I want. Um, but yeah, these are just some really easy and fast last minute Thanksgiving decorations that you can use. Um, not even just for Thanksgiving, I mean, fall, room decorations, any holiday, really. Um, it's just like a really nice way to, if you're having people over and you just kind of want to dress up your area and make it nicer, just really easy, simple, fast, um, kind of no, no brainer ways to decorate. So hopefully you try some of these and hopefully they look amazing. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.